This is Dabu 7. We have scientists coming out now saying they believe there is part of a previously unknown continent that is mostly submerged in the South Pacific that is connected to New Zealand. This is pretty amazing. And the detail that comes with this gives credence to their claims here because they're saying it meets all the criteria applied to the Earth's seven continents, according to scientists. Elevation above the surrounding area, distinctively different with its geology from the ocean floor. It has a well-defined area. And when it comes to the crust, they say the crust is much thicker than found on the ocean floor with sediment, plant life, and everything else that shows that this was at one time above the water. This is very interesting, knowing that water levels were much lower at different times. They're saying that this area is 94% underwater. And you can only imagine what roads, cities, ancient monuments, anything could be sitting on this ancient continent. Now, they want to say this could go back 100 million years. But people always argue their timelines there and saying that the Earth has seen changes, drastic changes, within that time frame, a smaller time frame than 100 million years. But what is very interesting is we all hear about Atlantis, that is supposed to be the lost continent that disappeared in the Atlantic. We've heard about Lemuria, which is a massive landmass that disappeared south of India, between Africa and Australia there, in the Indian Ocean. And then you have the ancient landmass of Mu. And this is very interesting because it was said to extend down to Easter Island. You can see Tonga, all these other places. And it looks Hawaii would be right there in the same area, one of the remnants of ancient Mu. And it stretches all the way over here. Now, this is what is very interesting to me. It's because if this ancient Mu map connects over here, then that means that this part up here is a part of that. And I'm wondering if this too, connecting all the way down to New Zealand, all this submerged, this one piece of land, this massive land mass, is it connected? Because if so, this could be a massive piece of ancient Mu that is sitting underwater and it's right there and they're, they're giving more proof now. People don't have to wonder, well, where could it be or, or where could it have went? They're saying a massive continent is underwater, 94% of it. And you can only wonder what is sitting there. Gets the wheels turning, that's for sure. And it's very interesting, especially with all the mysteries tied to our history here on this planet. Talked many times about the ancient stories that Thoth had, had spoke about in the Emerald, Emerald Tablets. He had spoke about Atlantis, Lemuria, these other continents and the devastation that happened here on this planet. But this connection to ancient Mu and knowing that this landmass is stretching right up here to it, to me, it's pretty it's pretty crazy. So it definitely raises the question for me, is this a part of ancient Mu? Well, regardless, they're saying it's a lost continent underwater, and that's pretty amazing to me. Any of my folks out there in New Zealand hear me? And you're out there and you got a drone, have clear waters, you see anything. If you can find any kind of proof, just like the road off of Bimini, that shows proof that there was an ancient road there. They won't say where to or what, and they want to leave it shrouded in mystery, but there was a road that was, that was put into motion. And there's other places like this all over the place, all over the globe. But a continent, that's massive. Does it get much bigger than that? Make sure to tune in tonight, Underground World News Live, Dabu 7, 7, 8 p.m. Eastern. Make sure to subscribe to my other YouTube channel, Dabu 777. Going to be running an around-the-clock news feed there with a lot of recent Underground World News Live, uh, events from the streets, some of my music. I'll be breaking in with breaking news and all that. I'm just going to try to keep that stream active over there on that channel as much as possible. So it have some unique things set up over there. Make sure to click the gear box next to where it says subscribe on both my channels and click that you want to get email notifications or else they're only going to send you one notification per day. 
If you want to know everything that I'm posting when I'm going live, you have to do that. It's a caveat. It's something they do not mention when they when people go to subscribe. They do not tell you you have to do that if you want to actually get all the content. People think when they hit subscribe, they're doing that to get all the content. That's not the case. So I will leave a link. Until next time, it's been Dabu7. Peace.